Hey guys, it's me, Mike. Welcome back to Unbox Warehouse. And today I got the Air Hog Supernova. Tell you the truth, I don't even know what this thing is. I just saw it on the shelf and it looked too cool not to buy. So we're gonna give it a try. I have no clue how it works. We'll figure it out together. It says right here, you toss it to launch it and then it has touchless controls. You move it with just your hands. It's got a reactive LED light, five motion sensors, no remote control required and obstacle avoidance. All for the low price of like 30 bucks. I don't even know how to get into this one. There she is. It's like a little quadcopter inside of a plastic ball. This is gonna be fun. Power of your hand. It flies with your hand. Comes with four extra props. I don't know how you'd really damage the props being inside of that cage. For in-depth video instructions, go to airhog.com supernova. We don't need that. Not English, not English. Here we are. How to launch. Device is charging when the LED core is flashing. Device is charged when the LED core turns green. It says you drop it to start it. Once the light is green, <clears throat> let it hover for three seconds after launch. Place hands in front of the sensors to move it. Turn it upside down to stop the rotors. Them boys are having more trouble than two stray heifers in a pasture full of bulls. It's uncontrollable. It just flew all over the place by itself. We may need a slightly larger area to test this. Let me try it one more time. Oh, oh. Oh, it's working over here. I got it. That was exciting. So it seems to want to fly about three feet above whatever's under it. Um, so when it's on the table, it launches up out of the screen and you can't really see it. And then for some reason, it wants to attach itself to the wall and I couldn't get it to come away from the wall. But when it was out in the middle, I was able to kind of move it. You get your hand real close to it near one of these sensors and it'll fly away from your hand. A lot of times I had to physically bump it though to keep it where I wanted it. So all you have to do to launch it is as soon as the light is green, you just drop it. Only problem is it seems to go everywhere uncontrollably for a little while and I was unable to get control of it most of the time before it hit a wall or some piece of furniture. Then to shut it off you just grab it in midair and flip it over. As you move your hands closer, you can tell if it's sensing them or not because the light in the middle changes colors. I didn't have much luck with the proximity sensor underneath to make it go up. All right, the flight test was kind of a failure, but even so, it was still fun to fly this thing around the house, and my son was loving it. 
Is it worth 30 bucks? I don't know. If you want something that's really controllable, you might want a remote. If you want something that's fun and kind of gimmicky and good for your kids, you can use this and push this thing around with your hands in the air. It's fun for kids. They don't care if it works right. The holidays are around the corner. I guarantee you, your kids are going to have some fun with this. Regardless of its shortcomings, it's still a fun flying toy. Your kids will probably really enjoy this. So I'm going to put a link below like always. I make it easy for you. If you want to see more, click one of these videos right here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell icon down there so you can see we open next right here on Unbox Warehouse.